I'm Ruby Rivera, your neighborhood reporter, and as you can see, the CSUB Student Union is looking a bit differently. That's because it's day two of their Extra Life charity event, raising $6,000 in one day for kids at the Lawrence Mall Children's Center. Organizers say they believe they'll reach their goal of $10,000 in no time. According to Campus Gamers President Samantha Medina Alvarez, they had over 200 participants come in on Saturday, ranging from all ages. Alvarez says although she was ecstatic to see that many people show up, she says she didn't expect anything less from her community. I think knowing that we are supporting the community and helping and benefiting a children's hospital is what brought the community together. Regardless of the fun activities I have here, I think all the clubs, all the people that came, mainly came for the children because we all have that you know sweet spot for helping people. But the Extra Life event didn't just feature video games. Bouncy houses were also available for the younger kids, along with face painting, an anime cafe, even a reptile station where attendees had the chance to hold a snake. Associate Professor Dr. Amy Gankars Kausch volunteered her time for the event by being in the dunk tank. With this being her first time involved in the event, Professor Gankars Kausch says she decided to join not only to support the cause, but to create more unity. As a professor, one of the most rewarding aspects of my job is student success and so part of that is is supporting them in these types of events where they're serving the community um, and it also unites the community and, and the campus where professors students staff and you know the community are all coming together for a good cause Alvarez says seeing 13 clubs come out to participate has felt like a dream come true but is especially grateful for the CSUB esports club being the second club to put in the most money into the creation of the event and also coordinating their gaming tournaments President of the CSUB Esports, Stephen Tran, says their club alone donated around $2,500, mainly going toward the physical attractions of the event. We believe that having also a physical aspect along with the video game aspect is uh, important to have engagement and just kind of invite people down to the event. Vice President of CSUB Esports, Daniel Rivera, says he is especially hopeful they will raise their goal amount since he believes video games can open a new and creative world for people, inviting a bigger presence. You know, unlike uh, traditional sports, I think uh, some people can't always uh, get involved in activities like that. So with video games, it gives people a way to connect and feel like they're part of something. Alvarez says she is extremely grateful to see the jump in attendees from last year compared to this year and is truly blessed to see the growth and community support for this event. There's a lot more support and overall I think that's what people feel that more people want this event to succeed, more people want for us to gain more money for this hospital. So seeing that difference from last year to this year is amazing. For players wanting a rematch, Extra Life will be back next year, this time ran by CSUB Roadrunner Esports, bringing back the bouncy house, the dunk tank, and obstacle courses. However, for anyone wanting to suggest more, can visit our website at turn23.com. I'm Ruby Rivera, your neighborhood reporter.